I'm Suzanne McNeil and today I'm so excited because the holidays are coming and I always just love Halloween and Thanksgiving when the family gets together and everyone dresses up. It's so much fun and I love pumpkins around my house. When my children were growing up we had we had eight pumpkins, one for each person at each size. <laughs> so this is a, a permanent pumpkin, and he has a light inside, which is kind of fun. He came plain orange, but I decorated him with Zentangle designs. So I want to give you a few tips on that today, in case you want to decorate your own pumpkin. So uh, here's one that I did last year, and uh, you know, you can purchase pumpkins now in black, white, and orange. Maybe next year they'll have purple or green. But this one I, uh, I drew on it, my Zentangle with Sharpie markers, and after a year I can see that that marker has sort of faded. So this year I've gone on to a more permanent marker. And this year I'm using the oil-based paint markers on my pumpkins. Uh, here's a black pumpkin, and I started that a little bit. So uh, let me show you about these markers. These have a, a little ball inside. You have to shake, 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 shake that to get your paint all really good mixed up. And then to start your um, marker your paint marker, you just press the point down. And this one has a, a little different point on it. It's a little wider and this is really beautiful glossy oily paint. Uh, you may not be able to see the white but it's coming out now I can see. So um, I drew the band around this pumpkin and then I want you to see how easy this is to draw with and what a beautiful color it adds. So I'm going to work all the way around the pumpkin with this really simple sort of peaks and valleys design, sort of a border. I think you can see how simple that design is. And now I'm going to do one of my favorite designs up here. This one's called Rain. I just draw a straight line. And this is one of Rick Robert and Maria Thomas's original Zentangle designs. I'm just doing the same peaks and valleys across here. And now I can draw another line parallel to that first one, or, or sort of parallel. Nothing's exact in Zentangle. And now I'm going to repeat that same peaks and valleys or zigzag pattern. I got a little smudge from my finger, but I'm just going to go right over that with a new tangle. And so now for vibes, I would come in and color in each one of these. Uh, not vibes, this is rain pattern. Just continue coloring that in. This white paint pen really makes beautiful marks. So I'm going to color in both of those areas. And then I think it would be really great. These paint pens make the most fabulous dots. That uh, little bullet tip point there just makes perfect dots every time really simple to do, but it, it just gives a really detailed look to your art. So now we have this Peaks and Valleys variation, and we have this Peaks and Valleys on the, on the side variation, and let me do another pattern here. I always love circles. I like to, um, in my designs, I like to vary circular shapes and sort of straight edge shapes. Adds variety to your piece. I'm just drawing simple circles, sort of interconnecting them, and then another circle on the inside. And get those all built up. It just gives a beautiful interlocking look. You might notice I'm, I'm supporting my hand with my, my little finger. I find that really helps. When I work on a paper tile, of course, I'm supporting my hand on the table. 
but when I'm working with a rounded shape, I have to figure out a different way to support my hand so that my design is organized and steady, or as steady as possible. And I find that uh, just resting it on the point of my finger does a really great job. And when I'm finished with my pumpkin, isn't that just a beautiful look? And it's so shiny. These paint pens give a beautiful, beautiful, shiny look. So here are several patterns I did on here. Some of my favorites. Simple to do and just so much more fun than just a plain old pumpkin like you buy at the store. And these are permanent pumpkins, so I can save these for next year and show them off again. Now you might want to know where I got my ideas. Of course, my tangle patterns came from uh, one of the tangle books. You can probably see, I know I use this pattern right here, right here on my pumpkin. And here's another swirl. This is similar to this, a little bit rounded. So lots of patterns in these books. And then here's a wonderful pumpkin book, a pumpkin patch. Lots of carving patterns and painting patterns, just anything you want to do to decorate your pumpkin. So you might enjoy those around the holidays.